Once upon a time, in a small town shrouded in mist and mystery, there stood an abandoned asylum known as Hollow Manor. The mere mention of its name sent shivers down the spines of locals who spoke of it in hushed whispers, cautioning others to stay far away. One gloomy evening, a group of friends, enticed by the thrill of the unknown, decided to explore the decaying corridors of Hollow Manor. Armed with flashlights and a daring spirit, they pushed open the creaking gates and stepped into the darkness that clung to the air like a heavy cloak. The asylum, once a place of hope for the mentally ill, now stood in desolation, its walls echoing with the distant cries of the past. As the friends ventured deeper, shadows danced on the walls, and the chilly air seemed to whisper secrets long forgotten. Strange noises echoed through the empty hallways, creaks, moans, and the soft padding of ghostly footsteps. Each step forward was met with a growing sense of unease, but the group pressed on, determined to unravel the sinister secrets that lay hidden within Hollow Manor. As they explored, the atmosphere grew tense. Suddenly, a cold breeze swept through the corridors, extinguishing their flashlights one by one. Panic set in as the friends found themselves enveloped in darkness. Whispers surrounded them, echoing tales of suffering and despair. Eyes wide with fear, they glimpsed fleeting shadows in the corners of their vision, apparitions of the long-forgotten souls that once called Hollow Manor home. Ghostly figures emerged from the shadows, their hollow eyes fixed on the intruders, and mournful wails filled the air. The group, now trembling with terror, realized that they had awakened something malevolent within the asylum. The spirits, angry and tormented, sought to draw the living into their world of eternal anguish. The boundaries between reality and the supernatural blurred as the friends struggled to escape the clutches of the haunted asylum. Doors slammed shut, trapping them in narrow corridors that seemed to stretch endlessly. Whispers turned into guttural growls, and the air thickened with an otherworldly presence. The friends felt a chilling touch on their shoulders as unseen hands reached out from the shadows. With hearts pounding and breaths shallow, the group raced against time to find an exit, their fear escalating with every passing moment. The once curious explorers now faced the terrifying truth. They were not alone, and the spirits of Hollow Manor were determined to make them pay for disturbing their eternal rest. As the clock struck midnight, the asylum seemed to come alive with malevolence. The friends, gripped by fear, stumbled upon a hidden chamber at the heart of Hollow Manor, where the darkness seemed to converge into an abyss of despair. In that room, they discovered the asylum's darkest secret, a history of cruelty, experimentation, and madness that stained the walls with the anguish of the past. The spirits, now more agitated than ever, closed in on the intruders, their ghostly forms twisting and contorting in a macabre dance. In a desperate bid to escape, the friends recited a forgotten incantation they discovered within the asylum's chilling archives. The air crackled with energy as the spirits recoiled, allowing a fleeting opportunity for the group to flee. As they burst through the asylum's doors, the night air was crisp 
and the once ominous mist had lifted. The friends stumbled out, breathless and shaken, vowing never to speak of the horrors they witnessed within Hollow Manor. The abandoned asylum, having claimed its place as a haunted relic, stood silent once more. The echoes of the friends' footsteps faded into the distance, leaving behind a chilling tale of a night when the boundaries between the living and the dead blurred within the haunting walls of Hollow Manor. A deadly secret lurked in Ravenswood, a little forgotten village tucked deep amid a lush, frightening forest. The townspeople spoke only in whispers, terrified that even the mention of the poison would reawaken the demonic spirit that had haunted their forefathers for centuries. Legends told of a cursed well situated in the midst of the woods, its waters polluted by a darkness beyond understanding. As the cold wind whispered through the twisted branches, the moon threw an eerie glow over Ravenswood. It was a town shrouded in darkness, with terror as palpable as the icy mist that hung over the small streets. One man, however, dared to break the tacit code of quiet. Samuel Blackwood is a skeptical journalist looking for his next big scoop, arrived in Ravenswood with a desire to find the truth that sent shivers down the spines of the inhabitants. Captivated by the bizarre beauty, he paused for a time before lowering a container attached to a rope. As the container came into contact uh, with the alien liquid, the once peaceful forest exploded in a symphony of frightening sounds. Ghostly whispers resonated through the trees, and the wind appeared to carry the agonizing groans of tortured souls. Samuel's hands trembled as he drew the jar back up, the liquid now sealed, unbeknownst to Samuel. He had reawakened the ancient evil that had lain dormant beneath Ravenswood for generations. When the poisoned liquid reached the surface, an invisible force began to weave an evil web throughout the town. Shadows deepened, and a smothering blackness settled on the once quaint settlement. That night, about midnight, the townspeople were. They awoke from their uncomfortable sleep. A sense of uneasiness filled the air, and the streets came alive with foreboding whispering. Doors creaked open, and the villagers, drawn by an unknown force, gathered in the town square. In the center of the plaza, a twisted figure emerged from the shadows. It was a spectral manifestation, a formless thing powered by the poison Samuel had released. The shadow weaver spread its inky tentacles, choking the townsfolk. Their eyes glazed over, and their pupils dilated into pools of emptiness as the poison permeated their very souls. Ravenswood transformed into a village of the living dead, locked in a terrifying limbo between reality and the macabre. The previously lively streets were now echoing with hollow footsteps. The houses were mere shells, haunted by the echoes of the afflicted. Meanwhile, Samuel, oblivious of the destruction he had caused, continued his research. He soon observed the unpleasant changes in the town. 
the desolation that had replaced the once pleasant mood. Determined to discover the truth, he dug deeper into Ravenswood's history, uncovering long-forgotten tales of curses and terrible spirits. As Samuel dug through the archives, the Shadow Weaver's influence grew like a cancer. The locals, now puppets in the entity's cruel play, began to turn on one another. Unearthly screams pierced the night as the once close-knit community devolved into pandemonium. Samuel was haunted by dreams of the well and the bright liquid which made him comprehend the gravity of his deeds. He hurried back, visited the well, hoping to find a means to reverse the curse he had unintentionally cast upon Ravenswood. The woodland, now alive with twisted apparitions, seemed to mutter accusations to him as he struggled through the undergrowth. Samuel arrived at the well and noticed the bright liquid pulsating with unusual intensity. Desperation overtook him as he sought a means to halt the Shadow Weaver. The town's survival hinged on his ability to undo the curse, but time was running out. A disembodied voice resonated from the shadows, sounding hauntingly familiar. It mentioned ancient rituals and sacrificial rites that could calm the vengeful power. Samuel, led by a combination of terror and resolve, followed the voice into the center of the forest, where an ancient the altar was enveloped in an ethereal brightness. As Samuel reached the altar, he noticed a tattered journal left by a long-forgotten scholar. It described a rite of atonement, a final desperate attempt to free the town from the poison's grip. The process necessitated a sacrifice, a soul willingly delivered to the Shadow Weaver in exchange for Ravenswood's deliverance from its malignant grasp. The weight of the decision weighed hard on Samuel's shoulders as he debated the morality of such an action. However, with the once proud town reduced to a ghostly realm of sadness, he realized he had no choice. The woodland appeared to hold its breath as Samuel repeated ancient incantations, his voice shaking with a combination of fear and resolve. As the sacrifice rite proceeded, the air sparked with supernatural force. The Shadow Weaver, lured to the event, appeared in front of Samuel. Its formless figure shimmered with the ethereal light of a thousand lost souls. The air became heavy and a sensation of impending doom descended upon the altar. Samuel presented himself to the Shadow Weaver as a willing sacrifice in exchange for Ravenswood's salvation, his hand quivering. The creature, craving the taste of a mortal soul, accepted the offering. As the bright liquid from the well surrounded Samuel, the woodland fell silent. Time appeared to stand still as the brilliant liquid mixed with the Shadow Weaver, causing a dazzling explosion of light to rip through the darkness. Ravenswood went into convulsions as if waking up from a long nightmare. The possessed townspeople's eyes, suddenly clear, stared in wonder at the changed scene. The curse had been lifted 
but at a terrible cost. Samuel Blackwood, an outsider seeking the truth, has become a martyr for Ravenswood's salvation. The once peaceful community, scarred by the atrocities of the Shadow Weaver, was on the verge of a new start. The townspeople's recollections were contaminated by the trauma, so they chose to bury the sad chapter of Ravenswood's history deep within their minds. The well, now sealed and concealed from inquisitive eyes, became a forbidden relic of the past. The woodland, once a shelter for terrible spirits, eventually regained its tranquility, disguising the horrors that something had happened beneath its cover. Ravenswood recovered over time, and the poisoning story became folklore. However, in the quiet periods of the night, murmurs could still be heard among the trees, a chilling reminder of the price paid to mute the darkness that lurked below the surface. The haunting echoes of Samuel's sacrifice persisted. It was a cold and dreary night in the small, isolated town of Ravenscroft. The wind howled through the narrow streets, carrying whispers of long-forgotten secrets. The townsfolk had always been wary of the dense forest that surrounded their homes, a place known as the Shadowed Woods. Legends spoke of dark entities that lurked within, waiting for unsuspecting souls to venture too close. On this particular night, a group of friends gathered at the old, run-down mansion on the outskirts of town. The mansion, with its crumbling walls and broken windows, had a sinister reputation. The bravest of the group, Jake, suggested they spend the night there to prove their courage. Sarah, Mark, and Emily reluctantly agreed, not wanting to appear weak in front of their peers. As they entered the mansion, the air inside felt heavy with an unspoken unease. The creaking floorboards echoed with each step, and the dust danced in the dim light filtering through the broken windows. They huddled together in the grand hall, sharing nervous glances. Are you sure about this, Jake? Sarah asked, her voice barely above a whisper. Jake grinned, trying to mask his own unease. Come on, guys. It's just an old house. What could go wrong? Little did they know. The shadows in the corners of the room seemed to be whispering ancient secrets, foretelling a night that would forever haunt their dreams. As the night wore on, strange occurrences began to unfold. The temperature dropped, and the group could hear eerie moans echoing through the mansion. Shadows danced on the walls, taking on grotesque forms that seemed to move independently of any light source. Emily clutched her jacket tightly, her eyes wide with fear. I don't like this. Something feels off. Mark tried to dismiss the unease with a nervous laugh. It's just an old house playing tricks on us. Ghosts aren't real. But deep down, doubt lingered in his eyes, mirroring the uncertainty in each of their hearts. As the clock struck midnight, the group decided to explore the mansion further. They climbed the creaking staircase, guided only by the feeble glow of a flickering candle. The air became colder with each step, and the oppressive darkness seemed to envelop them. They entered a room at the end of the hallway, the door groaning on rusty hinges. The room was surprisingly well-preserved compared to the rest of the mansion. A large, ornate mirror dominated one wall, its surface reflecting the flickering candlelight. Dust-covered furniture hinted at a time long past. The group gathered around the mirror, curiosity mixed with trepidation in their eyes. Sarah gasped as she noticed strange markings etched into the frame of the mirror, symbols that seemed to pulsate with an otherworldly energy. 
Guys, I think we should leave. This doesn't feel right, Sarah pleaded, her voice shaky. But before they could react, the room plunged into darkness. The candle extinguished, leaving them in pitch black silence. Panic set in as they fumbled for a way out, their hands grazing the cold, damp walls. Suddenly, a soft whisper echoed through the darkness. Shadows of the Unknown, beware the secrets you have sown. The group froze, their breaths caught in their throats. The voice seemed to emanate from the mirror itself. As their eyes adjusted to the darkness, they saw a dim, ghostly light forming within the glass. The mirror became a portal to another realm, revealing a shadowy figure that stood just beyond the threshold. Its eyes glowed with an otherworldly intensity, and its elongated limbs seemed to extend into the void. The figure beckoned them with a skeletal hand, a sinister grin spreading across its face. Who are you? Mark stammered, his voice barely audible. The figure's voice echoed through the room, sending chills down their spines. I am the Keeper of Shadows, and this mansion is my domain. You have trespassed, and now you must face the consequences. The room filled with a haunting melody, as if unseen hands played an ancient song on ethereal instruments. The group felt an invisible force pulling them closer to the mirror, their bodies resisting against an unseen current. No, let us go, Emily pleaded, but her words were swallowed by the spectral music. The figure spoke again, its voice resonating with ancient power. To escape the shadows, you must unravel the secrets hidden within the depths of your souls. Only then can you break free from the grip of the unknown. The mirror rippled with darkness, and the group found themselves transported to a surreal landscape. Trees made of shadows whispered forbidden truths, and the ground beneath their feet seemed to shift like quicksand. The Keeper of Shadows loomed in the distance, its presence casting a palpable fear upon them. As the group navigated through the surreal realm, they were confronted with visions from their past. Guilt, regret, and buried secrets manifested as grotesque specters, tormenting them with haunting whispers. The shadows seemed to feed on their fears, growing stronger with each revelation. Desperation set in as they realized the only way to escape was to confront the darkness within. Sarah confessed a long buried betrayal. Mark revealed a lie that had haunted him for years, and Emily confronted the guilt of abandoning a friend in need. Jaka, too, shared the weight of a secret that had festered in Mont's passant since that fateful night, and the group struggled to reconcile with the shadows that now clung to their lives. Each member grappled with the weight of their revealed secrets, haunted by the memories of the spectral realm and the enigmatic Keeper of Shadows. Sarah, once the voice of reason among her friends, found herself isolated by the truth she had confessed. The betrayal she had revealed strained her relationships, and the once tight bonds began to unravel. She wandered the streets of Ravenscroft, haunted by the shadows of lost friendships. Mark, burdened by the lie he had carried for so long, withdrew into a self-imposed solitude. The weight of the truth gnawed at him, and he struggled to find redemption for the pain he had caused. The once vibrant and outgoing young man became a mere shell of his former self. Emily, tormented by the guilt of abandoning a friend, sought solace in the quiet corners of the town. The shadows seemed to follow her every step, a constant reminder of the choices she had made. Sleepless nights and haunted dreams became her new reality. Jake, the instigator of the ill-fated night at the mansion, bore the heavy burden of the secret he had concealed. 
his once confident demeanor shattered, and he lived in perpetual fear that the shadows would return to claim him. The town itself took on an eerie atmosphere, as if the very air held the echoes of the group's encounters with the supernatural. Whispers of the shadowed woods grew louder, and Ravenscroft became a place tainted by the darkness of the unknown. One evening, the group found themselves drawn back to the mansion. The broken windows stared back at them like hollow eyes, and the crumbling walls seemed to echo the regrets that lingered within. The mansion stood as a grim reminder of the night they had faced the Keeper of Shadows. They cautiously entered the Grand Hall, the air thick with the same unease that had enveloped them before. As they reached the room where the mirror had once stood, they were met with a surreal sight. The shattered pieces of the mirror had reassembled themselves, forming a twisted reflection of the group. The Keeper of Shadows materialized once again, its voice echoing through the room. You have returned to face the consequences of your truths. The shadows within are not easily cast aside. The room shifted, and the group found themselves once again in the surreal realm they had visited months before. The landscape had changed, mirroring the turmoil within their hearts. Darkened skies loomed overhead, and the ground beneath their feet seemed to crack and crumble. The Keeper of Shadows spoke, its words carried by a haunting wind. To escape the shadows, you must confront the depths of your souls once more. The unknown within is a never-ending abyss, and only by facing your own darkness can you find salvation. Dread filled the hearts of the group as the visions from their past replayed before them. The guilt, the regret, the pain, all resurfaced in vivid detail. The shadows whispered accusations and the landscape transformed into a nightmarish reflection of their own fears. Sarah faced the consequences of her betrayal as friendships crumbled around her. Mark relived the pain he had caused with his lies, the isolation becoming a suffocating reality. Emily confronted the specter of the friend she had abandoned, the guilt tightening its grip on her heart. Jake, haunted by the consequences of his actions, found himself pursued by shadows that seemed to mirror his deepest fears. As the group struggled through the torment of the spectral realm, the Keeper of Shadows watched with an inscrutable gaze. The music of the otherworldly instruments played once more, intensifying the emotional turmoil. It was a symphony of pain, a cacophony of regrets that echoed through the surreal landscape. But this time, as the group faced their shadows, something changed. In the midst of the torment, they began to find strength in each other. Sarah reached out to her estranged friends, seeking forgiveness and understanding. Mark, in a moment of vulnerability, shared the depths of his remorse, hoping for redemption. Emily, burdened by guilt, sought to make amends and find forgiveness from the friend she had abandoned. Jake, facing the consequences of his actions, acknowledged his mistakes and sought a path to redemption. The Keeper of Shadows observed the transformation, its skeletal visage contorting into an expression that seemed almost approving. The spectral realm began to shift once more, but this time the oppressive darkness lifted, revealing a glimmer of light on the horizon. The group found themselves back in the mansion, the shattered mirror once again reduced to broken fragments. The Keeper of Shadows lingered, its presence less foreboding than before. You have faced your shadows and emerged changed, the figure intoned, its voice softer now. The unknown within is a journey, and redemption lies in the acceptance of your own humanity. With those words, 
the Keeper of Shadows dissipated into the air, leaving the group in the quiet emptiness of the mansion. The weight of their past still lingered, but this time there was a sense of acceptance and a newfound resilience to confront the unknown. As they exited the mansion, the night air felt different, less oppressive, more forgiving. The shadows of the past still clung to them, but the group walked away with a shared understanding. They had faced the depths of their souls, confronted their darkest secrets, and emerged stronger together. Ravenscroft, once shrouded in mystery, began to reclaim a sense of normalcy. The legends of the shadowed woods persisted, but the group's encounter with the Keeper of Shadows became a cautionary tale, a reminder that the true unknown lay within the human heart. The friends, forever changed by their harrowing experiences, forged a new bond, a bond that transcended the shadows of the past. As they walked into the uncertain future, the echoes of the spectral realm faded, and the town of Ravenscroft slowly reclaimed its peace. Little did they know, the Keeper of Shadows, though vanquished for now, lingered in the shadows, watching and waiting for the next souls to confront the mysteries of the unknown. The cycle of shadows and redemption continued, an eternal dance between the darkness within and the fragile light of humanity.